So I want to start by apologizing that my understanding that my successor will continue with the project that we started, that along the line he stopped everything. So I apologize that I brought a man who pretended for eight years that he will build on the foundation that I laid. Only for him, not only to abandon the foundation, but to allow it to be flooded by water. And start doing consultancy for printing, consultancy for MOU, consultancy for everything. If you are in my shoes, will you be happy no. to see what you did with people's money be run down and beneath his back in the dark? You go and sign MOU in China, you beat me to a television, very good. And you tell us by November 2018 there will be modular refinery. This modular refinery will guarantee fuel security and the price will come down and it will create thousands of jobs. Now we are in 2020. Have you seen modular refinery? No. <laughs> when you market somebody that he will continue with project of IMAC and he abandoned it and started spending money on consultancy, will you be happy? No. Do you need to be a godfather, a godson, a godbrother to be able to advise somebody to keep to the promise? No. Then, so when they are using my campaign, what I said about pastor, I said pastor will not do the pastor has never been a governor. No. Now there is what you call tested and trusted. We have tested Obaseki and he failed. F9. So he cannot do receipt. At all. So I want to assure you, I apologize for my poor judgment. As they say, you can never know human being until he has money and he has power. Then his true color comes out. So if those who told me that this man will betray, they have turned out to be true. God has a reason for keeping me alive and well and strong. So that working with you, your highnesses, we will correct the mistake yes. and bring someone who will make up for lost time. <laughs> Oh, my God.